There's like, all I'm saying is, I could unleash a floodgate. I could... I, I don't... It's not just a crack in the dam. I could literally, like, demolish the Hoover Dam and, and destroy their utopia. I, they, it, it would be gone. They would not be able to come back. What, did you expect more Golf Ball Man today? Yeah, not that for once, which is surprising. But today, I am tackling a different subject entirely. In the land of the internet where touching grass is uncommon, maybe even a scarcity, we have two amazing examples of human beings in the VR chat space. One created a cybersex bot, and the other is just a piece of shit. Anyhow, it was requested by me of multiple anonymous parties from different communities to cover these two sorry examples of human beings, one being Operator and the other being Alice. To say these two cause trouble for others would be an understatement. Operator and Alice are known for their harassment, stalking, and... Alleged. Instigation of doxing campaigns, including death threats. In recent times, it was deemed severe enough for VR chat staff to ban both of them from their servers. But what would be the motivating factor here for all this to start? Well, apparently, Alice was removed from a Discord group that didn't approve of what he said on his Steam profile. I mean, it couldn't have been too bad, right? Oh. Uh. <sighs> Phobia will not save you, flat as justice, pedos and those who think I am can get bent. <laughs> what the fuck? For those of you who don't know what this word entails, here you go. Now you wish you didn't know. Oh, what's this, uh, some screenshot from Alice's profile? 2D is justice, no matter the age. Okay, uh... Anyhow, yeah, so Alice has a... Alleged. ...interest in the underage as a 26-year-old man. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you look at his VR chat profile, the stars will start to align in all of the wrong ways. I'm a proud degenerate. I don't care for input of those who feign disgust via fake morals, especially over fiction. Your disgust holds no weight as I've witnessed your dishonesty, fraud, and duplicity. Your kind lacks the authority to define morality or integrity. I'm a pervert and I'm straight, but not a pest. People also took issue with this wonderful video that Alice produced. Quite the title there. Anyhow, you will get the pleasure of listening to the very definition of someone with no bitches. You know what really makes me angry? The trans community. It's full of entitled little shitheads who think that the world owes them acceptance and tolerance and respect. It's like respect whammon, but it's even worse. The reason this comes about is that the more people... The more people try and make their communities more accepting of them, the more that they try and advocate for a level of fairness and decency for them and try and mandate it, the more I don't want to abide. Anyhow, it shouldn't take a genius to figure out why Alice was removed from the aforementioned circle of people, as his presence made people uncomfortable in general. After Alice was removed and began to harass an individual over his ban, he eventually received a nice DM explaining his ban reasoning, and for some reason deleted his own response in between messages. Hi Alice, I will only be sending this to you as there still seems to be some issue that you feel in regards to your removal from the Discord and VR chat group. We removed you for a few reasons. Firstly, your profile. Your profile was nothing short of horrific and quite honestly has made individuals within the group extremely upset. While you may have stated that it was a joke, your attitude towards it was not. I've read through your profile and seen the comments even backing up your lolly escapade since 2021. No joke lasts for two years where you're saying cunny lollycon pride as your achievement showcase. Nor is it as your groups, nor is it as your tags. That is despicable and there is no way it's a joke when we even checked your profile after the fact when you removed your achievement showcase and the achievements show right back up. You said you would change, but you only proved our suspicions by immediately putting them back up. This is not a joke. That is a sick obsession and clearly nothing we told you yesterday meant a thing to you. Secondly, your transphobic regards. While I don't remember everything, you had comments pertaining to making fun of trans people and calling people gay babies. It does not matter if you can do a girl voice. If you didn't believe in those comments, you should never have said them, or at the very least remove them. 
But you have it, and it only took a group of people sitting you down and telling you that this is not okay for you to delete your comments. Thirdly, your attitude towards other members. I've heard you've been a bit over the top in both DMs and in VC. While talking about your problems isn't something inherently wrong, I have seen you speak over others and flat out ignore everyone else for some specific individuals. This is a group of well-trusted individuals that get along with family. It is not a place to single people out and nuke their DMs with the most off-the-wall stuff imaginable. Nor is it okay to go to people who aren't exactly open to DMs and flood their DMs. That is not okay. Now, of course, Alice could just not comprehend why anybody would have a problem with him. I mean, I mean, who would have a problem with, uh, you know, this being displayed on their profile? I mean, you know, no immediate red flags there. Alice was not very happy, of course, about people being mean to him. Before being blocked, it wasn't much long after that Alice went sicko mode in the original individual's DMs. You gave me no way out. You gave me no room to change anything because you put me straight back in a social situation that there was nothing to gain from doing what any of you had fucking asked of me. I can't take your criticism and advice seriously. When you do the shit to me, you just did. It's despicable and says a million and one words about how foul you are. <laughs> you all are as human beings in comparison. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the hell, dude? Compared to how you are actively treating me, what differentiates us is how we treated each other after the fact. I had given you guys nothing but fucking respect. I am not either of those things, a pedophile or transphobic, and I don't fucking appreciate the second one, especially considering I was fucking manipulated and exploited by a pedophile when, <laughs> when I was a very young teenager. You fucking coward! You all have no right to do the shit you've done, or say the shit you've said. You kicked me out. Be done with it. I have the right to talk to my friends about my grievance, and I apologize that they went out of their way to bother you fucking people a second time with this shit. It wasn't my intention. But as for everything else, actually, actively, go fuck yourselves. As for the transphobia or whatever the fuck, get over it. Cry me a fucking river. I am not a transphobe. It's full of entitled little shitheads who think that the world owes them acceptance and tolerance and respect. I am, I am not a transphobe. Yeah, a uh, uh, little hard to take seriously there, buddy. And I don't give a fuck how those comments made you all feel. I'm not going to defend myself or cry when someone throws an associate. Wait, what? Wait, I'm not going to defend myself or cry when someone throws an accusation at me instead of laughing at them. Oh, you mean like how you're crying right now? Because this is totally crying, bro. It's fucking stupid, and now the same applies to all of you. Grow the fuck up. All of you. I loved you all. <laughs> I felt like it was an honor to meet you, or a positive experience. Thanks for proving me fucking wrong with the backwards bullshit you're all pulling. Fucking hideous troglodyte behavior. You are all fucking delusional. Please, in the future, just block my friends if they mention me and keep my fucking name out of your hideous mouths. You've proven me wrong in all the worst of ways. And once again, remember that you're calling a victim of child abuse a pedophile. Freaks. Goddamn fucking cowards. None of this has gotten to you. Yeah, ask the dozens of people I talked to the other night in order to try and ease my heart over the pain I felt over all of this. Guess what? What, buttercups? I told them all about the Steam profile. Not a single person sided with you guys. They simply agreed with me that you guys overreacted. But thanks to the charity I gave you, they agreed you weren't in the wrong for it. The only one who was wrong here was fucking me. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, it's uh, it's not looking the best of days right now. So after Alice's baby rage fit, his friend Operator, who was also banned for association with Alice, didn't take too lightly of this disrespect. Hey, I noticed I just got banned. I wanted to let you know I wasn't gonna really get involved past a certain point with drama, but why is the messenger getting shot? I wasn't really even involved, if you know what that's about. This next part is an entire run-on sentence and it's killing me. I've done this so many times now. I, I don't, I'm trying. I'm sorry that it has come to this, but I'm left with no choice but to proceed with what I think is best for myself, my friends, and the community as a whole. I am sorry this has caused a divide, and I wish to have formally talked a bit more to you guys, including but if I can't be given the time of day and no other option for contact, unfortunately, this is where I have to play my part. I will be releasing my information to the applicable parties in regards to Redacted. and her group. 
in response to the situation being more extreme. I wanted to genuinely disengage this situation, but I was not given that chance. I'm sorry. So with both of them banned, cue the stalking and alleged doxing campaigns. After isolating for many weeks on end, it was Alice's chance to strike back. Through a private video, our dear friend Alice showed up once again to begin stalking the same group he was kicked out of. He seriously recorded himself, sneaking up on this group in VR chat and began to share the video around for some kicks, mainly to pretend like he solved a mystery over one individual who I'm not going to talk about. Not even 10 days later, our best friends Alice and Operator were caught on video admitting to doxing and stalking. They know- they should know that they are fucked because I have, like, several people who would love, 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 love to just watch them crash and burn and all I have to do at my fingers, give them everything that I've withheld from them, and it's over. There's like, all I'm saying is, I could like unleash a floodgate. I could, I, I don't, it's not just a crack in the dam. I could literally, like, demolish the Hoover Dam and, and destroy their utopia. I, they, it, it would be gone. They would not be able to come back. Do is just tell the autismos have fun i'm done with it do, do your worst and it's over it is fucking over at that point the only reason they haven't done it isn't because i asked them not to it's because i haven't given them the ability to they yeah. don't know the vr chat group handle and they don't know the usernames of the people involved honestly if i wanted like to do something nasty to them i could have done it a long time ago but i don't want to do that i but it would be so easy for me to just be petty to just drop the document that i have and just wash my hands of it, and then whatever happens, happens. No, the only thing I wanted was to stop getting fucking kicked! I hope for their own sake that it's not the actual because if it is, then there is- the, the, the clock is already ticking. They are doomed. They are absolutely doomed, and I don't want that to be the case, because I don't want to be the person who killed the fucking- Because I've been long gaming that group the entire time. I've been very subtly prodding and pressuring them just enough to where they were unable to forget about it and to where they would always have to be looking over their shoulders because of the fucking pug dumpster thing. But there is a very high possibility that due to everything that happened and due to the person that I reached out to, you know, with the, the person who got involved that was related to the cartels and shit, they may have gotten people involved that have actual influence and it's what i was talking about initially where i have no idea what's going on behind the scenes what's already been done outside of my control but what i know now is that whatever has been done has raised it to at a minimum a 50 percent chance that basically already terminated and doesn't know it yet like, yeah, it may have ended okay this time, but if that ha if that was able to happen before, then clearly, you know, they lack the control, or they lack this, or it's th this or that, and it's a it's a risk. A lot of scary stuff to try to really hurt thing, And it's not just them, but I think it was other people too, but there's like one person that really scary trying to go after her now, apparently. And I don't I'm think not... none of us can stop it at this point. Mm -hmm. I'm not full as shit when I told you about that, you know, I, you've got a second-hand confirmation. There are a lot of people who, because of the situation getting so out of control it, so quickly, they, they got involved. I'm sorry, man. Unfortunately, regardless of what I or Alice did, people kept getting more and more involved, oh. and, I only, and I'm just getting caught wind of it. Operator can probably right. confirm to you, by the way, that for the most part, aside from just saying my piece, from telling people personally, like I had done to you, with it, just enough to be able to there... defend herself. Well, one of the groups maybe... that I know that is doing it, I will admit, there's really not much you can do for the one specific group, like the really bad one, but the other smaller ones, you, you can probably just say, hey, look, you just need a back all. But alas, Operator and Alice couldn't put up the tough guy motif any longer, because as a result of their actions towards other people, they were banned by VR chat staff. Lamau. Let's just say Alice's reaction in the VR chat Discord was a little funny. 
A long time ago, I was groomed into some pretty messed up stuff and had to fight every possible way to escape from both it and a really bad social situation that left me feeling hollow and attacked by merely existing. The nature of my abuse is a why the hell are you telling this to the VR chat server, Jesus Christ. I spent so much money on VR equipment even though I'm disabled. I have so many friends I won't get back. If my appeal doesn't go through, I don't know what I'm going to do. Ah, uh, well, if it wasn't me, then alright. Still, I'm actually ruined right now. To be accused of illegal activity by VRChat, TNS, is crushing. I just... I just don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I'll respect that. I'm about to have a panic attack, and am fighting back suicidal thoughts which are incredibly uncommon for me. I just don't know what it could even be. Sitting here in silence is causing me extreme distress. I'm looking through the terms of service and community guidelines, and I can't even figure out what they would consider illegal activity that I could have even done in the first place to get me banned. I literally haven't done anything, like seriously, I'm terrified. Is this a common false flag? I appealed, but I'm terrified right now. Uh, I got banned for illegal activity, but literally haven't done anything. Operator also had a meltdown in the VR chat server as well. I don't know why this guy talks so much. Ugh. Anyway. Best bet, document and move on, report it to S later. It's good practice to document these things anyway. But I'm sorry they're stalking you too now if it's the group I think it is. The issue is, if that group is who I think it is, they have a large following. And if they're impersonators, they're turning other groups on them. Hard to make a safe space from a massive impersonator bent on killing you. That's what I'm getting from it. What the fuck does that even mean? If it's the same group I think it is, I already know Alice is most likely right and there needs to be reporting. But the best bet is to just document and move from that point. It's all you can really do. You fucking said that before, okay? Probably could report for targeted harassment if it's the group I think it is. Is, is it the group you think it is? It, that... That's the third time. No, fourth time. Third? Fourth. <sighs> fourth time. As it matches up to them. But best bet is to try support and grab anything you can about it. It's probably the same group I'm thinking about. Is it? Is it the same group you're thinking about? Those guys are toxic, but I'm not sure if support would cover it, to be honest, either. After these public meltdowns, Operator and Alice would subsequently melt down in their own personal circles. Enjoy. I'd rather solve it in a more peaceful way. I don't have time to be rallying, but I'll be forced to try if I have no other option. This literally kills all my operations, but I'll keep hope that someone will look at it and say, huh, this shouldn't be banned. Worst case scenario, if VR chat doesn't budge with this situation, I'll have to escalate it to gain more attention. But I'd really rather not. So I'm trying to see where it goes. I'm going to sleep. I want to cry so bad. I feel sick to my stomach. So much fucking stress. Literally, what could go wrong next? Oh my god, why does this... Side note, why does this remind me of when Sappho got banned from a paraphilia VR chat group and she was like, I'm just gonna fucking end it all. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. I hate this so much. This guy needs to touch grass. That's all I can really say. Some wonderful human beings, I see. Yeah, so to conclude this wonderful video, here's Alice's obsession with a certain kind of content. You can put two and two together. These are of course people that should absolutely not be feared. They should be made fun of instead. You can't just sit there and unironically say that, oh, you guys are so screwed, you guys are so fucked, and just look like this while doing it i could literally like demolish the hoover dam and and destroy their utopia i they it would be gone they would not be able to come back if you're gonna try and be intimidating at least not do it in vr chat holy shit lastly from the groups that reported this they wanted to give a deep thank you to trust and safety at vr chat for giving a ton of support towards this issue and helping them resolve it Big business, big decisions. Smiley face.